Alright, what's up guys? Today we have a relatively easy one. It's this triple clone. I see a lot of people kind of doing it wrong and doing it ugly. So here's some tips on how I do it and to make it look better. Here's a clip I'm going to be using. Usually you kind of want to use a clip where your artist is kind of facing towards the camera. Um, but you know, we'll work with this one just for now. So you guys get the gist of it. But if your artist is facing towards the camera, the effect looks better. And whoop because you know, it'll kind of look weird the way I do it. But you know, we're going to make it work. All right, so since this effect counts on a roto brushing, I'm going to show you guys how to roto brush. If you guys already know, you can skip a few extra steps ahead, but we just can go through roto brushing right now. So go ahead and select your clip, press Control D, and that will duplicate your clip and automatically highlight the top one. Go up to the top right here, and then this little man with a little paintbrush, go ahead and click on that. Now you're going to want to move your cursor to your video preview. Go ahead and double click that and it'll move you to the layer composition, whatever. You're gonna wanna go ahead and kind of color in your artist or whatever you want to rotoscope out. You can see right here, um, this happens often. If your composition's a different frame rate than your clips, all you have to do is go to your composition, composition settings, and change that to the frame rate of your clips. And I need to extend it since you're changing the frame rate. So here it is, and then now we can start rotoscoping. So. What I'm doing is my first rotoscope, when I selected him, it selected the whole video instead of what I wanted. So I'm holding Alt on my keyboard and then my little green dot turns red. I'm just kind of clicking and dragging on what I don't want. So you can see right here the arm isn't selected, so I don't have to hold Alt for this one. I can just regular click and drag and that will kind of select what I want. So you can see the little extra stuff, it, it kind of collects, I just hold Alt and I drag it over and that will be roto brushing now you just have to go through kind of all the frames to your whole video however long you want the effect to last and to see if your roto brush is good all right so i finished roto brushing and here's my final output it looks, looks okay but we can continue on uncheck the bottom layer so you can see it the regular is like three clones, one on the left and one on the right. So I'm gonna select my top clip and press Control D twice. Now I have these two, I pretty much have four clips now and these two bottom clips we're gonna rotate. So what a lot of people have a problem with is when they try to do this effect, they select their second clip, they press R on their keyboard, it'll bring up the rotation, and then they do this by clicking and dragging, just like that. You know, it looks, it looks ugly here let me reset everything back here i'm gonna open up the transform just so i can reset everything back what i like to do if i'm using that technique is you see this anchor point right here the anchor point is usually set directly in the middle right here if i move it down and kind of make the middle you see this little dot right here make the middle kind of to where my origin point of where i want to rotate i want the clip stick to kind of rotate from the hip if that makes sense um i need to put the origin point right here the anchor point right here so let's say if you want them to rotate from like if your clip has like one leg or like like one of the legs let's say you want the right one to rotate from the right leg you'd set your anchor point to the right leg this will make sense once you see it it'll make more sense once i move my anchor point to the bottom right here you can see that the clip moved itself that's no problem we shouldn't worry about that all you have to do is go to the anchor point and then right here, the values, the numbers, go ahead and copy that. Right here, we're copying the X, and then we'll go ahead and paste it to the X of the position. So go ahead and paste it, and then we're gonna do the same thing for the Y, so copy the anchor points Y value, and go ahead and paste it. Your, your clone will automatically go to the original position. But now, if you look at it, since the anchor point is down here, if I change the rotation, it'll rotate from this point which I think gives it a much cleaner, more professional look. I'm gonna change that back to zero. So now I'm gonna keyframe this clone. I'm gonna go to the beginning of my timeline. I'm gonna click on this little stopwatch right here on this rotation. I'm gonna go about, I don't know, 30 frames. Let's say that's, that's a little too long, but you know, it's fine. Just tilt this to the left, just like this. So we get something like that. And then I'm going to copy this beginning keyframe by pressing Control C. I'm gonna go, I don't know, let's say 30 frames more, which would be one second. Copy the first keyframe, 
and just paste it right there. You can also just revert it back to zero. And just for this tutorial, we're gonna make it more exaggerated. We're gonna have them switch. So I'm gonna go 30 frames again, and now I'm gonna rotate it to the right this time, about right here. And then I'm going to the end of the clip, and I'm just gonna change this back to zero. So if you look at the whole clip, we'll have this clone rotating like that. Now, if I uncheck the top clip, which should be my original roto brush, which I didn't change any rotation values or anchor points, he should stay in the middle, and then you have this clone effect like that. Now, if we just do the same technique on the third clip now, go to the first keyframe, which is 30 frames, and I'm just gonna go ahead and rotate this to the right, so we kind of have opposites at the same time. So you see, he'll be rotating to the left, and then this one will be rotating to the right. But we forgot again that we need to change the anchor points. You can also, I guess, pick whip the position. So if I do that, that will change it. <laughs> yeah. So that was just a little bit of a more advanced technique. I just kind of pick whipped this position to the top position, but you can also just copy the values. Since I kind of already rotated this one to the right, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna go 30 frames to the right of my composition, and I'm gonna keyframe the rotation. I'm gonna go back to the beginning, and I'm gonna press zero. And so if you look at it, we have an animation of him turning to the right. If we uncheck the top two layers, we'll get this cloning animation like this. And then now I'm just gonna have to continue the animation. I'm gonna want this keyframe at zero now. And then since I have the top one turning to the right, I'm gonna have this one turning to the left, just like that. And then go to the end of the, my last keyframe and then change this back to zero. Just let me save it real quick preview this by pressing zero on my numpad if I do that we'll get this effect and this just gives it a more cleaner effect than the regular rotation I see a lot of people doing on Instagram so you can do that way um, my way I like to add a little extra you know distortion kind of a little extra trippiness but I also add an effect to it so go ahead and go to your effects and presets panel on the search bar go ahead and search bend now right here where it says CC Bend It and CC Bender, I use them interchangeably depending on the clip, depending on which one looks better. But I go ahead and grab CC Bender and just drag that onto one of my clones. And usually I don't have them rotating. I mean, sometimes I do, but it just really depends on how the CC Bender is looking. But since now the CC Bender is on the second one, so it'll be this one, I should go ahead and increase that amount. I either drag it to the left or right. So this one's bending to the left. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it to the right. You see where this top um, kind of keyframe is? I just go ahead and change this by moving this. And I change the bottom to kind of more the bottom. And it kind of gives it more of a crazy distortion style. I'm kind of known for having crazy distortions. You can probably think this is ugly. And if you want more of a clean look, I recommend going for the first one. If you're doing like a clean trap, high pace edit. So I either do this and kind of animate the bend it to what I like. So I either bend it this way. You can see how it's bending to the right now or left and I kind of animate this and keyframe this to my liking so if we take a look at this you'll see this one bends way more and if this one doesn't work I usually just take this off and try bend it and kind of mess with these settings to however I like it again I change the bottom base it's this one's start and end but I change the end or I change the start to kind of where my anchor point is and I change the end to kind of out here this distort, I change that to extended, and then I change the bend. This one's working a little bit better than the other one. And I just change the, the start and end to get the perfect effect of what I want. And right here you can see he's bending a little bit more. Like that, like he's breaking his back or something. Pause, all right. So, just like that. And you can change this to having mirror or bend and just changing with the set messing with the settings gives it different effects but i do the same thing so i animate this keyframe i'm 30 frames in front of my timeline i'm gonna go ahead and click this little stopwatch to add a keyframe go to the beginning make that zero go to one second now make it zero again and if you look at it we'll have a even crazier bending where he's like almost turning in half this is usually just my style and it works better if they're looking at the camera but if you guys want you know you can take them off and use the original style and have an actual cleaner look than just turning it all right that was it a super easy one today thanks for watching make sure you subscribe like follow my instagram 
hit the notifications. Peace out later.